old is Harley? He's three. Three years old. Yep. And he was oh. a rescue. And what, from what we've been told, he's lived outside all his life. He's lived outside? Yes, outside. He was chained outside, so the chains were too tight. So every time he moved, oh. it would create okay. where he had, like, chain marks. He's put on about 25 pounds since we got him. Yeah. So he was very thin? Yes. yes. Yeah. Some people treat dogs so badly. Yeah, it, it's horrible. We've always gotten dogs from rescues, so this is probably our fourth dog from rescues. OK. And big dogs, and we're used to big dogs. Can't so. get bigger than a great day, can you? Yeah. Yes. And these big dogs have big appetites. I usually keep a lot of stuff in here. Oh, you keep food in the microwave? Yes. If it's on the counter, it's gone. Oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. You did that to me last time. Come on. So usually I have to throw a couple pieces of bread away. I find out the hard way after I eat my sandwich. I'm not going to eat a meal in your house. And Victoria's not the only one that feels that way. I know Jody loves having people over, but she's embarrassed, and, and she's pulled between her husband and the dog and her friends, and something something needs to be done. Harley. Hey, hey, hey. Growls at my cousin, growls at my friend. No growling. You're back. Go sit down. And now they won't come anymore. Go ahead. Come on. Come on. Go ahead. Why don't you just fill their water bowls up, honey? So Rick is pretty lazy when it comes to filling their water bowls, so he thinks it's just easier to let them drink out of the toilet. Encouraging them to drink out of the toilet? Do you use cleaning yes. products? How do you know the bleach is gone? Whenever you are cooking in the kitchen or there's food out in the kitchen, the dogs are out. Currently, both dogs steal food at will. It's unhygienic, and it no. needs to change. I'm now going to teach your dogs to stay out of the kitchen. So I'm just going to start like this. Out. Stay. What I'm teaching them now is that out means they have to go out of the kitchen and stay out of the kitchen. I'm also giving them another command to mark the fact that they're out there, and that's the stay. The problem with this training is that you can make a chain. The dog gets to realize, oh, if I come in the kitchen, and then she tells me to go out, I get a treat. They put two and two together, so then they come into the kitchen, you tell them to go out, give them a treat. So what I want to do is I want them to be out there for a while, and then I will give them a treat. Stay. Now I want you to take food out of the fridge because this is going to make it harder for them. You are now preparing food and they have to stay out. Once the food comes, keeping the dogs at bay gets harder. Stay. Up. Out. Stay. Dirty take over. Stay. Out. Out. Stay. Stay. Eventually, Abby and Harley get the message. Day. This is what you want at mealtimes. Is he OK there? Yeah, you know what? Sometimes maybe the rules are bent a little bit, but he's lying down in the doorway. No more drinking out of toilets. Oh, is that cool? Rick, could you go fill it up, please, with 1.2 gallons of water up to that line? There you go. Encouraged by Rick, both dogs' only source of water was the family's toilet. There you go. Do you want to bring Harley in? Mama's dad. Good boy. No more toilet bowls, Harley. Let's check in on Jody and Rick and see how they're doing with Abby and Harley. Victoria sees that with Rick better able to control their dogs, out, out, out. He's launching a charm offensive to woo his wife. I think this will make things up. You sleep, that's better. Honey. Hello. <laughs> what is this? I came home and he had dinner. I was very surprised. Rick doesn't do that too often. The dogs make a last bid to turn it into dinner for four. 
day. But Rick Stay. calmly takes charge. Thank you, darling. I made it all myself. It looks beautiful. I owe you a big time for letting me keep this crazy guy. We were able to sit down, and have a nice meal together, talk, not have to worry about the dog saying, get out, get out, get away, pushing them away. What a nice change. Rick's putting the effort in, and it shows. Jody's getting her husband back, and Abby and Harley are behaving themselves. I'm hoping that this is a one step out of the doghouse. Rick and Jody are getting ready for Victoria's return visit. Stay. I mean, he's crossed the line a little bit. But he's laying down. But he's laying down. Hi, I'm fine. Nice, nice to welcome see you. Nice guys. to see you. Welcome. <gasps> oh, all right. Stay. Stay. Oh, it was so lovely to come back and see Rick and Jody and this tea party they had set up for me. <laughs> a British tea party with scones and tea. And Holly stayed out at the kitchen. This is very impressive. We took control without having to be mean or nasty or yell. It changed our whole world and it changed his whole world. He just became a relaxed, mellow dog. But the proof of the progress is in the eating. And I could eat without the fear of there being dog slobber or hair. It was fantastic. And when Nicole comes home from college, she's also in for a treat. Hi. Hey. Hi, Hi, Nicole. Hi, Harley. Nicole was a little hesitant because I think she thought there wasn't going to be much of a change. But I think she was totally surprised. Stay. He's staying. He's staying. Can you believe that? That is crazy. I cannot believe how good Harley is doing. He did not jump up on me, he did not attack me, nothing. He's been so good, I'm so happy. And now when I tell him to get out, most of the time I don't even need to guide him with my body anymore. I'll just tell him out and he'll just turn around and get out. He knows the drill. It's actually a smart dog. He is smart. He goes, dumb owner, he's a smart dog. <laughs> Rick, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Harley has got some important business to attend to inside. Jody's friends are coming over. And in the past, they were on the receiving end of Harley's bad manners. No, Harley, no, hey, no, you're bad. I really hope he does well. I want them to see that all our hard work is paying off, because I kind of have a feeling that they're doubting it. Yeah. Want to grab the cups and the tea? No, I leave that here. OK. Good, how are you? Good. Good. Nice to see you. As soon as we walked in, I noticed Harley wasn't jumping up on us and wasn't in our face. Stay. Stay. Food is free of dog hair, free of slobber. Wow. If Harley can continue his good behavior, Jody's friends might become regular visitors once again. Good boy. Thank you. Away. Good boy. That's a very good boy. Unbelievable. Wow. You've been working hard, obviously. You've been working. And it's a different dog. And you're smiling, you're happy. <laughs> it is amazing how quick this dog went from this wild, obnoxious, aggressive dog to a, a very docile dog like his breed should be. I'm happy for you guys. I really Thank am. Thank you. I can't wait to come back. Yeah. <laughs>